Hey, what is up guys and welcome to another Kev5 tutorial. Today we are going to be doing a video on an amazing announcer plugin that you can use on your Minecraft bucket or spigot server. Um, you can also probably use it on other stuff. Uh, I don't know if it's upgraded to updated to like stuff like rainbow and stuff. Um, there's a bunch of knockoff bucket type things going on right now. But anyway, what you're seeing now in the bottom left corner is actually an announcement from this plugin called Welcome to Featherfall. Featherfall is a server I am working on. Uh, it's kind of exclusive. I want to make this personally by myself. Uh, if anyone's interested in checking it out, let me know and once it comes out I will release the IP on the server if anyone's interested. So today we are going to be walking you through this amazing plugin and what you can do with it. So to get started, if once you first install the plugin onto your server, you're going to want to do announce, which uh, you have to spell it right, <laughs> announce help, and all of the lists for all the commands will appear. And obviously this is version 1.5, the latest version. So let's do this. Um, so you want to add a message, you would do announce, add, and then message. So let's just do an example. We'll do at four, which is red, test. Uh, then I want to do semicolon. Uh, we'll do at C. It's a different shade of yellow. Um, not yellow, red. So I'm a bit tired. And then we're going to do this is a test. And here you're going to see um, we want to broadcast it. So as a test broadcast, without having to wait for the interval, we can do announce broadcast 2. And it'll announce that. Now, say you don't like it saying announcement in brackets. It's prefix for this plugin you can change that which is really cool um, so let's just set the prefix so we're gonna set it to uh, I like to set it to something along the lines of at B at F at L feather fall at B and then we're gonna do I, I don't know if the space is there generally we'll let's test it yeah, so there's generally already a space. So that's the prefix now. Uh, that prefix will be used whenever any announcement is said. So for example, even you can do this. Uh, the next command we can go through is announce say. Um, announce say allows you to broadcast a message without having to actually insert it into the new messages that will be interval broadcasted on your server. So say you quickly want to say, hey, I'm live streaming on Twitch. You would do something like along the lines of... Uh, Hmm, what color? Uh, a. Let's do A, because green. Um, uh, come join us on Twitch. Uh, add the link. Um, and then we I put like my link. Something something along the lines of like http dot slash slash www .twitch. Sadly, I know this because I have uh, been broadcasting Twitch stuff. I not me in general. Um, so let's just um, I'm gonna say this now. Uh, Lunaria Legacy is a person that uh, I live stream with. She's my girlfriend, and I will be live streaming a lot with her. So if you want to come check out that Twitch, uh, sure, be my guest. But uh, see, it will show that. Say if you want to make it so the link stands out more, you would do something along the lines of at D, which is pink. Or... Yeah, pretty much. Uh, that's how you would do it. So the next command we're going to walk you through is announce enable. Now you can set this to true or false. This will determine whether or not the plugin works. If you want to disable it, you would do false. If you want to keep it enabled or enable it again, you would do true. Um, next command we're going to walk you through is interval. Interval allows you to set how often you want these announcements to go on for. So say I want it to, ha to happen every two minutes, I would do 120 seconds, 100 140 seconds, I think, I don't know. 120, no. It would be 120, 180. Uh, so say we want a three minute interval, 180. Um, every three minutes, now that will broadcast. We can also go extreme and do every one second. Prepare for spam. <laughs> but let's keep it at three minutes for now. And I'm pretty sure that's basically the main command set you need to worry about. If you make a change in the config, you do announce reload. If you want to see the current announcements you have, you would do announce list and it'll tell you. That's basically the plugin. Uh, the cool thing about this plugin is, is it works on supposedly 1.7.10, which is what I'm using now. 
and I believe this will plugin will most likely work fine on 1.8. Um, I've had no trouble with this plugin before. Although it's not updated recently to certain versions, it doesn't need to be. This plugin is an announced plugin, and is for what it does, it works basically on anything. It doesn't really need to be updated. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this plugin tutorial. I would like to say that I am making more plugin tutorials. Expect a rehash, renew version of a Permissions EX tutorial within the next week or so. Until next time, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, have a wonderful day.